everybody to Moon Mama Studios. My name's Al, and today we're going to be painting our little house again. Last time on my life, we did the chimney, and I think it came out great. And we did some interesting techniques with that I've never done before. And we also did the fireplace inside, so it matches the chimney. So today we're going to be working on the floors. I did already attempt at one point to try to make them look like wood, but I made them too dark. So we're going to go back and we're going to try it again. And we're going to make them a little lighter, a little more lifelike. Uh, so welcome to my journey. Come join me. Let's paint with our pal Al. So we have our house. Let's plan out what we're gonna do once the inside's done and 
go from there. So we're going to put um, house right here. I do plan on adding grass to this and for that I've got some felt. This is just a piece of craft, craft felt from Hobby Lobby. It's got kind of a texture to it, a color to it. It looks almost like grass already. So we're going to stick that underneath there and it's going to be the grass. I might add more texture to it. I'm not sure yet to make it look more realistic, but as it is, see much better that looks. It looks like grass. We are going to put it down onto a board like this. I have a different board for that, but this one's for our planning stage. So I do plan on having Herbert's house on a little bit of a board. The board might be a little bigger than this. Obviously, we're not going to be missing a chunk out of it. I plan on putting a little path to his door. And I want to make it a stone path. So I actually have these rock, 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 rock. rock. river pebbles that I might stick to it, but I'm not sure because I don't know if they'll be flat enough for that. They might have too much texture to them. I do have like these little glass hexagon things. I didn't bring them over here. They're put away. Let me. We have these hexagon ones too, or some square ones. They're technically mosaic glass, but I might. I love hexagons, so hexagons are the best guns. But we're going to put them there. Hexagons are the best guns. Let's see. These might be flatter for that. That'd be a neat little path. Not sure though. It's a work in progress. I definitely do want a little path up to his house though. And because I feel like he needs a lawn and a garden and that, I am going to eventually add some trees. This tree, I think though, realistically, It might be a little too small. I mean, maybe in the front yard it would be like a organized, or not organized, a um, one of those ornamental trees. So maybe like the ornamental tree here. So maybe, or I was thinking maybe some bushes. I cut it down and it'd be like one of those. Um, Oh, you can bend it. Make it like a little bush that goes around the front door. Basically, we're going to landscape it. So, bush, maybe another one there. I don't remember how many I bought of these, I think. I know I at least have two. I might have bought three. So, I don't think these are quite big enough to be the trees on the property. Like I said, probably cut this off and make them one of those ornamental bushes just to add some interest to the outside and also make it look like a realistic house because that's what we're trying to do. A realistic house for a skeleton. Um, so like I said, use these fake trees, make it into a bush. I also bought moss because I did, did make this look realistic but what it's missing is moss and the reason I didn't ever put it on there is because I did buy moss to try to maybe glue in some of those spots so I will be putting some moss in there to give it that realistic feel. I might even attach some of the moss to the vines that are already growing here to make them look more realistic as well. Make this house look as realistic as possible. I also to help with the grass, I have 
some green grass flocking. Uh, I might either add that to, well, I know I wanna add it to here to make this grass look more realistic, but I might also add parts of it or see how it works by adding it to the grass, like the that felt sheet that I just showed you and put it on, add it to it to make it look more realistic. Um, I also, so we're going to have a garden thing for him. Just thinking maybe I've tried my hand, I've never fully finished one, but I've tried my hand at making wire trees. Hey! Oh! Oh! Did you chop down this tree? I'm going to try to make a big wire tree that goes up along the side of the house and maybe goes up over the house a little, make it a real tree. So that tree's gotta be about this high to make it a decent sized tree for this house to make it look realistic. Um, the board I'm gonna use maybe a tad bit bigger than this so he has a little bit more of a back garden. Um, so he can have his garden parties and hopefully a car doesn't come through. But, and maybe, heck, maybe we put, maybe we make sure the board comes over enough and he can have a driveway right here for that fancy red sports car he's got so it has its own home. But we know he doesn't have much of a a backyard, or that his house really isn't closed in, but we'll make it so he has a backyard to go to, on top of the fact that really his house isn't quite large enough for everything he needs. Um, I am going to continue on the inside, painting the walls. I'm not sure what color yet. I've, that's kind of why I haven't touched them yet. I'm not sure what color I'm gonna paint the walls. I am gonna put some in this back part. It did, it used to have wallpaper back here. I'm going to re-put wallpaper in there, but I haven't decided on what yet because I don't know what color the walls are gonna be yet. So I haven't finished that up yet. But once everything is in place in that way, I, well, I also, I bought this because I kind of wanted a coffered feeling, a uh, coffered ceiling kind of feeling. And I figured I could glue that, obviously cut it and glue it and add it to, the ceiling up here. I'm gonna paint it kind of that, like a bronzy gold color so that it um, it actually looks like the, the tin ceilings that they used to have. I, I didn't want to use metal just because, oh, first off it's expensive, then I would also have to indent all of those and I could do that, but I don't know how uniform I'd be able to do that. Also, th that metal is super expensive, super sharp, and it wouldn't be very easy to tack up to the top. So I figured this paper would be, and it's not like papery paper, it has like fabric in it, so it's pretty stiff. I mean, not stiff, but like strong. So put it in there. I have to realistically it gives me a little of space. Here we'll have 
a log holder that we either make out of popsicle sticks or maybe 3D print something that will hold the wood for the fireplace so that it looks more realistic. You have that wood outside of it. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. Fly forever if you keep it tight. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind. look like furniture instead of something that's 3d printed um, but they fit him perfectly he fits perfectly right in there and Harold has one that fits him perfectly as well reach pardon my reach again and his is hot pink they're, they're both 3d printed just sized down for each skeleton because Harold is or Herbert is very much smaller than Harold. Harold is smaller than the original 3D print too because he's also 3D printed from our machine. And we also plan on giving them giving them a pop belly stove up in the top which is also 3D printed and then I painted, glued it together and painted it just like the tub, the um, handle would not print because I sized it down so much from the original that the handle just would not print. So I made my own with a piece of wire and I hot glued, or er, super glued it to there. Then put it right, I was thinking we were gonna put it right there probably in the bedroom, if not in the corner like this. I plan on using a bendy straw, painting it black, to use as the pipe that goes off their cast iron stove, and they would have a nice cozy bedroom. Uh, lots of plans, lots of plans. But we plan? What plan? Plan. Uh, plan. 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 Some of the plans for it. We have have lots of plans for it to be honest and we might end up putting lights in there I'm not quite sure some working lights if we can manage it without breaking it or we're messing up the integrity of it but yeah stay tuned if you want to follow along and see this come into fruition thank you for watching this is Al with Moon Mama Studios and thank you <laughs>